control the game, that 18 to 3 run at the end of the first half. Just talk about that. Yeah, I think, um, you know, their youth showed early. They played fearless, knocking down shots, took advantage of our breakdowns. Whenever you have a four man who can screen and separate, that really causes some problems. Um, and then I, I think I just told our guys just keep getting back, getting set, break them down, and eventually that's kind of our way. Hopefully we can impose our style or our will against them. And then I think their youth showed up in that part. They just they wore down a little bit, and I thought we got stronger. And that that's how we have to play. It's it's a it's kind of a, I mean, it's, it's a grindy way. It's a physical way, though I think we have some ability to, you know, get some transition buckets and go. But you have to be willing to make people work. And, again, the better the opponent or the more experienced the opponent, the harder that is and the longer it takes. But there's always a battle going on every game, and someone's going to impose their will, and that's the team that's obviously going to be successful. And I think you saw that happen. But, um, but yeah, they, they took advantage of some mistakes. They're a, you know, those young kids, they just stepped up, banged some shots, but you could see at the end they wore down a little bit. Can you talk about the decision to put Shea Hawk in the starting lineup, and did you like his aggression? I did. I thought he really gave us a nice lift. You know, he's been in our system for a year. Um, Darius, who does some nice things for us, sat out last year, even though he played. But I, I thought <coughs> Mariel's a little more physical, and that was the idea, to have someone with a little more physicality. Um, Darius is probably a little more like a point guard. I kind of like Darius coming off the bench, and then I can put him in for London or even Malcolm. But I, I thought it was, um, it just, I thought Mariel gave us a good lift, and he'd been in a little bit of a slump. So I was glad to see him um, respond the way he did and, and just played a complete game. And we got nice contributions from some of our, our guys off the bench, certainly tonight. Tony, um, how did the guys respond from Monday night at practice? And, and did you have any doubt that? you know, they'd eventually get an effort like this. Well, I mean, we need to keep coming to this kind of effort. Um, we, we certainly uh, tried to take a step forward tonight. That's what we talked about. We worked very hard to address the areas that we felt um, were costly in the George Washington game. And uh, it's not a quick fix. It's just through repetition and getting after it. But they were, um, they were hard practices. Uh, they were driven. My voice is gone because of those practices. But uh, but I think the guys responded, and they're good young men. They really are, and they want to be good. Um, but you sometimes forget how hard you have to play, how disciplined and sound you have to be, and that's what we're continuing to try to get to. And that was my message after the George Washington game. First comes discipline, and then some freedom comes after that, but not the other way around. Can you talk about the efficiency you guys played with in the second half? Uh, 19 possessions, you had 19. I mean, 30 field goals, you had 19 assists on that. Share the follow-up on that. Follow -up. Yeah, again, our way is to be back and set, hopefully make teams work to get good shots and limit them to one shot and then come down. And, you know, we try, try a team that tries to shut them down on the defensive end and break them down on the offensive end. And, you know, that's – I think when the ball gets swung side, top side, that's when – if the game is going on, that's when some teams can wear down and you'll get some of those good looks. Now, they were undersized, so we were working our high-low and had some nice passes from them, but uh, got some easy buckets in transition. So it was a good balance, and that's what I like to see from this team. And we made some outside shots, which certainly helps. Right, I guess the thing about these tournaments is you don't have a lot of time. Right. They're kind of prepared. You didn't know anything about Long Beach State. Well, I know they're quick. I know they... Um, I know they're well coached, um, and they have uh, the young man played at Maryland. He was good against us as a freshman. I can remember him and tried to recruit him even. But um, Faust is a heck of a player. But they have other players, and they've always been very good. And you know the way they're going to get down the floor and attack you, you're going to have to be as ready as you can for that.